Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. I'm your host, Philosopher 42. This is Cozy Sunday, with Final Fantasy XII, the Zodiac Age, continuing where we left off. Starting off with the Tomb of Wraithwall. Magics stir within this device. Touch it. Oh, right. This is where I never got past. And I remember why. This goddamn demon wall is in this place. What was that thing? A contraption you'd find in all but the most rudimentary ancient ruin. One touch and off your whisk to you know not where. The finer points of their operation elude me, but they're handy all the same. What more need a sky pirate now? Maybe with Pinello having healing gambits, it'll be a little easier. I don't know if I want to maybe bring in Ash. Yeah, see, there it is. There it freaking is. I think this time we can run, run from it. We better decide fast. We can run from it through the door. Maybe we'll try and fight it. kill it now if I don't have to worry about it on the way out. Oh, well, everybody's blind, never mind. Um, no, uh, what do you got? I forgot it would like I think you can just like run through the door and not have to deal with it right then but
I guess I could have loaded the autosave instead of this. Let me see if there's some way I can do that. I can just do back to title menu. Load the autosave. Read this. Let me look at my party composition. So I don't have to bring Vaughn. Ash is a couple levels lower, which is unfortunate. Black Magic 1 through 6. Okay, so anything Black Magic I've bought, I should be able to use. So it's like Thunder, Aqua, Violence, Fire, Blizzard, Sleep at this point. I wonder if it might be worth going outside and gaining a couple of levels. Yeah. There's a shop here now, huh? You, you killed the Avion. Amazing. And this. I've never seen such a magnificent structure. It looks like some sort of tomb. The wealth it would take to build such a thing. Think of the treasures it must hold. A horde of ravenous monsters, I don't doubt. Me, I value life over loot. I go no farther. But should you find something, I'm sure I could be persuaded to part with a few gil for it. And if you need aught, of course, I'm your man. That's a time spell, disable. Definitely need more gold needles. I feel like eight of them. It's gonna take out most of my money, but it's whatever. Anything I can sell? Head guards, I guess. Probably these. No, I have two of them equipped still. And anything that. Speaking of doubling the license points, Aaron. Got some license points to spend. Even ninja swords.
Wait, it says right now. Must be four. Actually, wait, I probably could have. This guy probably has a ninja sword here. Didn't really use MP. More HP would be nice though. Increase physical attack damage. Increase fit up. I don't want to place this one. Fall fear. Potion low too. Measures of enemy. Increases damage output. Good. Alright, so Ash. Person HP. Okay, hello. He has a ninja sword, but like, <laughs> that's a lot of money that I'm not going to be able to end up having. Wait, what? A wizard staff. I wonder if I can like, head out and just fight some stuff real quick, try and gain the ash a couple levels. Because ash is like, Two or three levels lower than everybody else. That's why she's not doing anything after I select it. Thank you. 
he did. See a tree azure. I should probably do off uh, half his gambits. Open. Change for the party leader back. And now, I how to turn her game, but it's on. Those are on. Oh, and then here one. On. back in the way.
Pum de dum dum. If I stay back and just sling magic at it, all the others do damage one. Okay. Give it a go. <sighs> Fight or run? We better decide fast. There's like, oh, there's not all status ones I don't have anymore. I think I don't know I'll do it. I was hoping I could do ally stab and like get them to get her to like auto line the people. Okay. Let's see. I guess never mind. I 
thought we could do anything now. Maybe we have to not fight it. This one. The device bears a time worn inscription. Read the inscription. These words have been left by the tomb watchers with God's craft armed, guard we his tomb. Dyad's third, come they one unto the other. Nothing happens, there must be a corresponding device elsewhere. Decide fast. Run. Door. Door. We open the door. Once we get back out, it's just gonna come at us again. But maybe we can gain some levels in here. The world comes, we must be quick. Together we can bring it down. Now we have a longer pathway. I can do the bandits.
I thought it halted his advance. Why did not halt his advance? Oh, we almost got this thing anyway. No boss really gone, that's gonna make things a little more fun. On? Brazier? Yellow got X and Zone, that's fucking dope. There we go, we got it. Alright. Good stuff. We got it. The wall is down. Levels for Ash? Nello is still exiled. What is? How do I get Nello back? Vossler is still doomed. Like, how does that work? How do you bring back somebody who's exiled? Back or forward. It's forward. There's not a, a safe crystal here. I might just go back and see if that brings everybody back. There's everything. Incredible. It wounds me to look on as they pillage so solemn a place. Yet without help, you and I are as nothing. Is this not so? <sighs> he thinks ever and always on his own profit. Assure him of it and he shall remain true to our cause. I do not share your majesty's trust. We will continue this later. Now we should concern ourselves with finding the Dawn Shard. It sleeps in waiting, somewhere deep within. How can you be certain? I can hear its call. Oh, hey, there's a thing down there. A waystone down there. Maybe that'll take us back to the beginning. Couple waystones down there. Well, Pinello's back. Bossler's still doomed, though. But this did bring us back, yeah.
Oh yeah, that did heal everybody. Cool. Alright. We'll save it again since we beat the demon wall. Head on back. this way. It's over here real quick. Go over here. All goes way down here. the door. So let's go through the door. See what happens. Thank you. 
Actually, no, I want to get Camilla on this whole thing. Yep. Is this a treasure? Yes, it is. Heavy coat. Can you click that? Oh, Han's already got one. You can wear one. There's him a whole bunch of. I don't, they don't really use them. To be honest, I should probably be doing this with her. Give her more MP and more magic power. Change that gambit. I made it that gambit for uh, made that gambit for uh, demon wall specifically. It's not her MP right now. More lost souls. Things to explode. A treasure in here. All right, let's get the treasure. Lambent hat. What's a lambent hat do? Let's find out. It is a mystic armor. Okay, so Mellow. Mellow can't wear it yet. I should get that. I can wear it. And that kind of doesn't need damn too much. More Stillamans.
go up here. Alright, let me get Ash back as the party leader. Control Ash. Ash, he's pretty hurt. You're Voss. Pretty hurt. Alright, that's good. Oh, a bunch of treasure here, though. Canelo died. Actually, cast the magic on herself. Whoops. Fine though, I guess. Um, I'll come out to a Vossler. Guys, roly poly burbs. Yeah. We did faces. Yeah. Treasure. Some more, some more cash money. Hey, we found a point. Let's get a luminous barrel and jewel. Is something that's so much jewel. That is why I tried to have Canelo cure right away. Sure. 
foil handkerchiefs. I don't know how many of these I have. I have two, and three people are oiled. Does this just wear off on its own? I don't even know what oil does. Uh, maybe I'll just keep controlling Bosch. Oh, the old Bosch. Did what? Half of the altar has sunk into the pool. I assume this is just another way to get to this place. This is a lift. Waystone. You know what? If this takes us back to that starting room, I might go back and use the, uh... It does. Oh, hey, there's a map, too. I didn't even see those. It does take us back to this room. And I'll maybe I'll go back out and buy some Phoenix Downs from that dude. I'll have to go back out to use the stone anyway. To use the save stone. I mean, I'll buy Phoenix Downs from that dude since I'm getting low. This way Ash still gets experience and isn't the freaking main target all the time. This way this time, I guess. Treasure. <laughs> More moons. That cash money dough. Oh, 
America. Normal attack. Okay. Alright, there's a Zambo right there. Alright, Pinello. Blame the time on Bosch. Further in here. Here we are, son. Solid stone. Ashes four. All right, good. That ties her up with Vaughn. Let's see how we're doing. Okay, we got lots of license points. All right. I might give Vaughn. Um, I want to give him. Actually, I can give him both, so I will. 
Give him battle lore again. I can do more damage. And I'm going to give him ninja sword as well. So ball fear. Two. Light armor six. Bows five. 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 Ash will do. We'll do Mystic Armor 6. Taps 3. Nello. Channeling sounds good. And give her some extra, some extra HP. All right. Is there a treasure in here before I go? Be honest, since Ash is fourteen, now two. I mean, I should. I should do this and gain some more. money what all three of these are again like in the other place yep That's the lane is crap. Right. Pardon. No. Your bar. Probably twice.
apparently cure herself once. Have her cure boss later. Oh, it just changed. It'll hurt. You know what? I'll just use a potion. Oh, she doesn't need my health. Yep. Everybody's basically close to topped off. In case this is no, this isn't a bell ring. Uh, we're getting close, I think. the room. Touch the stone. Level for both degree. Alright, well, you know what? Touch the device, we'll go back and save. And deal our stuffs. Let us do it this way.
fog? Underground? Not fog. Mist. You can see the mist? With your eyes? Where it is thick enough, you may. The nether runs deep in this place. So, is the mist dangerous? Yes, but it is also an aid. A dense mist allows the working of powerful magics. I'll keep that in mind. Can't count on Vaughn to keep track of these things. That's for sure. Wrecked. Hey, look, here, but wait a minute. Huh? I missed something. I feel like I missed something. I just came in, or came, I went around and out the other side and up to the other area. Did I miss like a stairwell or something? Uh, yes, I did. They're all over here, and I didn't go this way. Blood sword. Can my boy Bosch equip that? Uh, not as of yet. License he needs for blood so six. No. Oh, I have the sword and nine ones and blood sword. I have every sword two through five. Oh, they laugh. Wait, there's a, I think it said that the license you need is blood sword, so there's like a specific blood sword. License, who would have it? A one handed sword, you'd figure knights even swords. Sword license. Look down here. Interesting. I just wonder if there's a treasure up here too, on the other side.
Sure is. Hey, Felix, down. Not bad. That doesn't look happy. I don't look happy at all. Probably shouldn't be using Balthier here, but we'll... Party water in here because that seems like a bad move. Oh, there, yes, I can. Just add, paint for gambit back to the casting aqua on the thing. Right as the spell was going to hit her, too. die from it, don't be wrong. Or we all die from it. 
Oh wow, I can actually just do this. I mean, it's probably not going to be great, but... How's this? Oh, I gotta actually take part of the action. Okay. But he's almost dead, so I'm thinking this will just be good enough. It was messy, but we did it. Yeah, what's up, Scud Bomb? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. It was messy as hell, but we got it. Thank you. Oh, nice. In vain glory they arose, shouting challenges at the gods, but prevail they did not. Their doom it was to walk the mist until time's end. A legend of the Nemo. My family tells a story of the Dynast King and an Esper. The story goes that in his youth, the Dynast King defeated a mighty Gigas, for which the gods took heed of him. Thereafter, it was ever bound to him in thraldom. So, all this time it's been here guarding the Dynast King's treasure? Not so. The Esper is the Dynast King's treasure. That's your treasure? In this Esper we now command rests a power whose worth is beyond any measure. Is that so? Call me old-fashioned, but I was hoping for a treasure whose worth we could measure. I'll just see what's in here for you. I didn't want to start slinging Phoenix down if there's like a Dave Crystal down. There's a way crystal there, a way stone. Read the inscription. By this, return you to the Hall of the Destroyer. By other means, return you back to the... I won't touch it yet. Oh, the Dawn Charge right here. Majesty, we must go. What? will be avenged. Yeah, you will.
Dude it. Now we screwed. Such a tremendous honor to again be graced with your presence, Majesty. You left us with such great dispatch upon our last encounter that I must confess I had begun to worry that we may have given your Majesty some cause for offense. Such a heartfelt display of remorse. Now what is it you want? I want you to give me the Nethysite. The Nethysite? That is a base imitation. We seek Wraithwald's legacy, the ancient relics of the Dynast King. They affected Nethysite. Did you not tell them, Captain Azalus? <sighs> Majesty, he speaks of the Dawn Shard. That is the Nethysite. <sighs> are you mad, Vosla? If we are to save Dalmasco, we must accept the truth. I will fight this profitless battle no more. <sighs> Captain Azalus has struck a wise bargain. In return for the Dawn Shard, the Empire will permit Lady Ash to reclaim her throne, and the Kingdom of Dalmasco will be restored. Think on it. An entire kingdom for a stone, you must admit, is more than a fair exchange. And when all is said and done, your master will have another pet. Lady Ash, let us take him for the people of Dalmasca. Your majesty wallows in indecision on peril of their heads. And his shall be the first to fall. Well, at least your sword is to the point. To think the relics of the Dynast King were deifacted Nethysite, Dr. Sid will be beside himself. What did you say? Captain Azalus, take them to Shiva. They should have leave to return to Rabanaster soon. I want you to assess its power. Did our orders not specify that we return the stone for testing? I will not chance returning with a stone that is yet unproven. I see. When we return to Dalmasca, we can announce that you are alive and well. I will then continue our negotiations with the Empire. I believe Lars has the key. He'll listen to us. We should trust him. Who are you, Vossler, to talk of trust? A son of Dalmasca. Our 
equipment here is limited, so we'll be using the ship's drive to make our assessment. Once we've connected the stone, the reaction should be easily measured. Methods do not interest me, only results. <sighs> Such heat! The mist, it's burning! 6,800, 6,900, 7,000! This must be de facto nethersite! The count still climbs! What? Ah, we found it at last. True de affected nethersite. The power of the dynast king in my hands. <laughs> Blood alone does not an emperor make, vain. What is this? Something's wrong! What is it? You stand. Hold her down. What's wrong with her? I always knew Fran didn't take well to being tied up. I just never knew how much. How about you? I like Fran's idea. Let's get out of here. No farther! Sky Pirates, the future of Dalmasca will not be stolen. Why do this, Bosh? This struggle is futile. You must know where it leads. I do know. All too well. Probably should be the sword guns. <laughs> That's kind of wow. Oh wow, he's got Toro.
Engine power falling rapidly. Each negative, impossible. Engine we room, this is the point. Report. What are they doing down there? What's happened? We have a the ship's power. Disengage it at once. I want that number three to go. Send me an out. Ash, let's go. All I have done, I've ever thought of Delmasca first. I know you do. I would ne'er gainsay your loyalty. Look on what my haste has wrought. Did I act too quick? Or was your return too late? I can serve her no more. You must take up my charge. Dang, son! <laughs> the dreadnought Leviathan is sunk. The Eighth Fleet of the Arcadian Imperial Army lost. As word of the events in the Yacht sounded throughout the Empire, quit I, Bujerba, citing sudden malady. My true motive, to bring the various counter-imperial forces scattered throughout Ivalice together in unified resistance. By this time, Lady Ash had made her return to Rabanaster. She had not, however, made known her presence. Rather, she was content with keeping both her own whereabouts and those of the Don Shard concealed. Had she chosen then to go before her people, my error in announcing her suicide would be known, to the great detriment of my efforts to assemble a resistance. In such circumstance as the Lady Ash then found herself, even were she to proclaim Dalmasca restored, it would serve only to invite the Empire's wrath. Though Arcadia had lost her Eighth Fleet, she remained, as ever, a military power with which to be reckoned. Rosarian Empire assembles a vast host under guise of martial exercises. It is our belief they wait for the proper pretext, the sooner to make their strike against Arcadia. The loss of Leviathan and her fleet at such a time comes as a most grievous blow. Were Rosaria to invade, the battle would be hard fought. Had Lord Vane not deployed the fleet so capriciously, 
We would not now find ourselves in such perilous circumstance. Lord Vane shall be made to answer for his actions. It is the will of the Senate. Excellency, though he be your son, justice must be served. A convenient thing, justice. And so I must now make a choice between my throne and my son. A most lamentable situation for us all. Oh? For Lord Vane, perhaps. Yet surely Lord Lausa will make for a fine emperor. Lausa so adores his brother, and he is yet young. But he will not remain young forever. Already he busies himself unraveling Lord Vane's tangled skein. Lord Larsa has found his role to play and pursues it with some enthusiasm. Ah, yes. And who would set him at such tasks? What matter? Lord Vane himself once saw his elder brothers brought to like justice, did he not? At your Excellency's behest, as I recall. <laughs> you may put yourself at ease, Lord Gramis. So long as the Senate watches over her, Arcadia's well-being will ever be ensured. By your will, I shall bid Vain return to Arcades. So, it was the Dawn Shard that brought down the Imperial fleet. Yep. You know your stuff. Destructive power of such force. I've seen it once before. Lady Ash, you know of what I speak. Nabudis. The capital of Old Nebradia, Lord Rassler's fatherland. At the time of the invasion, a division of Imperials entered the city. There was a mighty explosion. Friend and foe died alike. Something was there. One of the Dynast King's relics. The Midlight Shard was in Nebradia. More Nethersite. Well, no wonder they invaded. That ridiculous war. The trap at the treaty signing. All this because Vane wanted power. He must not be allowed to claim the Nethersite. The Empire must never hold it. Oh, they already do. The Dusk Shard, most likely the Midlight Shard, too. Besides, can't they manufacture Nethersite now? Very well. Then the path set before us is clear. We'll use the Dawn Shard to fight them. Dalmasca does not forget kindness, nor ill deed done. With sword in hand, she aids her allies. Sword in hand, she lays to rest her foes. This Nethersite, I hold, must be my sword. I will avenge those who have died, and the Empire will know remorse. You even know how to use it? I... <laughs> the Gareth may know. The Gareth people live by the old ways. Matricide lore is a part of their culture. They may hear it, the cry of the Nethersite's power, whispers of the stone's menace. 
Dangerous though it be, what we need now is power. Should we declare Dalmasca free without the means to defend our claim, the Empire would crush us. You must take me to meet with the Gareth. They live beyond Osman Plain. Not exactly close. Compensation, is that what you want? Straight to the point, aren't we? I like that. Compensation? How about the ring? This? Isn't there something else? No one's forcing you. I'll give it back to you, as soon as I find something more valuable. What do you mean, something more valuable? Hard to say. I'll know when I find it. What is it you want, Vaughn? What are you looking for? Me? What am I looking for? I... I guess... Well, I, uh... You know... said to dwell in Kirwan. So they do. We'll need to head south, past the Giza Plains. It is the range now in Giza. The Waris will be swollen with the deluge. Passage may be difficult. But those same waters may also lay open new routes to us. Regardless, we must go south, yes? First things first. You're eager to be on your way, I know. But we should see that we're prepared before setting out. I made my resolve two years ago. I swore to overcome any hardship I may face. Man cannot live by resolve alone, Princess. So I'm gonna get some, or look at the weapon shop, I guess. See what we need to get. I saw the blood sword, but that thing sounds pretty dope. It's probably like a minus two man.
Oh, hello. to make sure there's nothing we don't need to get there all right animus Well, second license we're access to additional license. Alright, well, that's hmm? So she only has Mystic Armor 1 and 2, that's a 3. Who I want to be able to summon Belaya. Guess I have to get there for this. It's money for less points. I'm not sure I'm ready to decide that yet. <laughs> let's try, let's do um battle lore.
Hold on. I want to check out the magic. I want to check out the magic. Check out the magic. progression this is the farthest i've ever been in this game when i originally owned the game i still own the original ps2 version. i think i got stuck on demon wall i couldn't beat it Camilla a time maid. Second. Yeah. Jesus Christ, is it?
Still not that one. Fine with the four hit combo though. was the town. this time. Why, why are you changing my camera? Use it to heal. That cat went on the sneeze rampage 50 times in a row. Okay. Holy cow. Right. 
Why does Penel only have 8 MP? Can we drain her MP? And it looks like that. I wonder if that's what happened. It said Kanoa triggered a leech trap and now she has zero MP again. I wonder if that's what happened last time. Or if that's how she lost MP before. Ah. This thing wants to fight. Or she's gonna die. Doesn't help with my personal with rage as long as he's done. Huh. 
Crap, when things stop, like, why is it just aggroing Canelo? Bach could have been the one that was aggroing I think I saw Bach, but. Keep... Canelo was the one that keeps dying. That was all great. Ridiculous. This is. There's a cave with a bunch of them things in. That's not anything I care about. Third chopper. <laughs> Chopper's what I'm equipped with right now. All this crap here. So like now all of a sudden you just went after Camillo for like why? Is it fish from the group now?
I might have to consider it. Sitting boss on the bench for a minute. Try and do some more leveling with ball here. Ball here is the lowest level. Oh, all these other dudes are fitting. What's that? No. Oh, is anybody going to attack? Gator. Kill it. Wow, he did that twice in a row. There's two of them! Tell 
the town, I think. Yep. This is Gary Holm. No place for human children to play at games. They're wayfarers, they bring no harm. Call them Croft the Ogman Plain. They're warriors of great distinction. The fiends of the plain struggle them not at all. Sir. Venture upon the plain to let war chief? Again? What business have you with the Gary? Let them pass, the responsibility will be mine. This is your wish, War Chief. You may pass the days to see any humans wandering through our land. Ah, I have not made introductions. I have Sup I, I am Ms. Supinelli, War Chief of this village. We Garif have been friends to all since long ago. However, lately the human world is in much turmoil. We must protect our village and our people. As war chief in particular village, I ask you, why have you come to this land? Hmm, I see. So you too have come to ask about the Nethosite. Let me speak with the elders. If our masks may make it difficult for you to tell us apart, walk through the village and look with your eyes so listen to the ears. Humans come to visit us. A little bigger this time. Can you not tell me anything? I know you have come to our village to learn of the stones, the Nethosite. The grave have knowledge of this, passed down from father to son, mother to daughter. Some of it remains, some of it some has been lost in history's sands. I know nothing of the stones. I must speak to the great chief. He alone holds the deep knowledge of these things. He alone remembers all tellings. Cross the bridge to the north, and there you will find him. There are watchers at the bridge, so I think it is best to speak with War Chief Sitchupinelli. I ask you, I ask you a favor. Give this to War Chief Supinelli. There is no rush. When you next happen to meet him, you may give it to him. May you find all the answers you seek. Sitting here on the earth, one comes to see many things. The great flow of the world, even the flow of man's thoughts. Wallows over here. What's this? Another human visitor to our land? It's a little unusual. Have you too come to speak with our own people? Ah, you're the human the war chief has spoken of. You crossed the plains to learn of the stones, yes? Blue builders can tell you much. You seem a great warrior, but it's best you avoid Zertinian caverns. There are many fell creatures there, and of late choice. A fiend with strange powers have been seen. Perhaps this is why the other creatures there have yet more vibrant. You ask about Nethosite, yet I know nothing of this stem, so I can teach you nothing. It would do well to speak of the speaks of the Great Chief, the North Community, you know, Reach of Rage. The Great Chief may be coming. Greetings, you are a traveler, yes? Our village is not like a human village. You're welcome to find what comfort here as you may. Hmm, Nethosite, perhaps the great chief knows something. He's across the bridge there. You would do best to speak to the war chief before attending the cross. The warriors guarding the bridge are his. The green creatures you see in my enclosure are Nanas. 
The best livestock in all Iblis. No part of the Nana goes away. Meat, hide, and bones all have their uses. They are strong against drought, cold, and oh yes, easily herded. Need anything? Please take your time. Don't want as much of it. Thank you. heard of the monographs? Merely bearing one of these on your person aids in the recruitment of objects and exposure to people. Now, different monographs are different persuasions of adventure. Merchant, I would love one if I only knew where it might be. There is a wood to the southeast of here where the mist is uncommonly thick, even its flowers are parallel to it. If you pass through that wood, be wary of places where the mist is in the thickest. Many people come to our village of late. Perhaps the road to Giza is open. Once again, we can bring medi medicinal herbs and the fine cheese of the Nana of the people of Giza. The rains have lifted. We'll do this. Is that what you carry? Is it, is it a Jaya stick? The High Chief has given this to me. I shall receive it. I thank you for bringing it to me. How did you learn what you wished? Now, do not tell me. It is written clear upon your face, so even the High Chief could not help. Then you must meet with the Great Chief. Yes, it is true. The Great Chief may know something that would aid you. The arranging audience may be quite difficult. I must learn more about the Nephesite. I cannot turn back now. Please tell your Great Chief that I am the Royal Line of Dalma I am of the Royal Line of Dalmasca, a direct descendant of Dynasty King Rayfall. If the Garif have passed down knowledge of the stones, you must know of the Nephesite that the Dynasty King once held. Do you have proof of your heritage? I, I do not. Hmm. I've looked into your eyes and seen that you speak the truth, young child. I give you my trust. The Great Chief is ahead across the river. Chief is ahead where you meet with him. This Nethysite 
You have used it. It was not I who used it. Indeed, I had hoped you could show me how. Thus I've come. Hmm. You do not know the workings of the stone. Then we are no different. What? In ages past, the gods made a gift of Nethysite to my people. But the manner of its use eluded us. Displeased by our failure, the gods took back their stones. They chose instead to give them to a Yum king. Called the Dynast King, he used the Nethysite's power to bring peace to a troubled time. It is a curious thing. Though the blood of King Wraithwall flow through your veins, you cannot wield Nethysite. Cannot wield it? So then, am I to understand you can't tell me how to use the stone? Though it shame me so to admit, here before me stands a descendant of the Dynast King himself, and I can accord her no help at all. Still, even if you knew how to use the Nethysite, you would find it of small avail. The mist collected in the stone over ages past is lost, and with it, the stone's power. It will be your posterity who will the stone in ages yet to come. <sighs> this stone is devoid of power, empty, yet full of thirst, a terrible longing to drink the world dry. The power of men and of magic, of good and of evil. It is often those who desire Nethysite whom the Nethysite itself desires. <sighs> Larsa? To Baromi says. I say we ought leave tomorrow. I was going to wait for my escort to return, but meeting you here has presented a great opportunity. This terrible war can be stopped, but I will need your help to do so. A war? You know the Marquis Ondor leads a group of insurgents. Your pardon? He leads a large resistance force against the Empire. Lady Ash, neither of our countries can afford this now. The Rosarian Empire would stir. They would aid the resistance and use this aid as a pretext to declare war on Arcadia. And Arcadia would have no choice but to answer. Lady Ash, let us go to Bur Omasace. With the blessing of his grace, the Grand Kiltius Anastasis, you may rightly wear your crown and declare the restoration of the Kingdom of Dalmasca. As queen, you can call for peace between the Empire and Dalmasca and stop Marquis Ondor. For peace? How dare you say that? The Empire attacked us, stole all we hold dear. And you would have me save them from war? Damascus would be the battlefield. What if Nethysite were used on Rabinasta? You know my brother would do this. <sighs> Forgive me. I presumed over much. I could think of no other way to avoid bloodshed. If you cannot trust me, then please take me as your hostage. Rustler. You saw him, didn't you? Like at the king's tomb. So you did see him too. But why? It's strange. Before, I didn't even know what you looked like. And the prince? I barely knew there was a prince. Who knows? Maybe the person I saw was my brother. 
Bosch told me about him. He enlisted right at the end. But for what? He knew he couldn't win. To protect something. How can he protect anything when he's dead? Was it different from Prince Rassler? Did that make sense? Hating the Empire, getting revenge, it's all I ever thought about. But I never did anything about it. I mean, I realized there was nothing I could do. It made me feel hollow, alone. And then, I'd miss my brother. I'd say stuff like, I'm gonna be a sky pirate, or some other stupid thing. Just anything to keep my mind off it. I was just... I was running away. I needed to get away from his death. That's why I followed you. You know what? I'm through with it. I'm through running. I'm ready to find my purpose. To find some real answers. Some reasons. If I stick with you, I think I will. I wish I knew. I'll find him. I will accompany you to Mount Baromises. I had hoped you'd say yes. I'm glad. My heart is not set. I still have questions. I hope to find answers along the way. I had other reason to invite you. There is someone I'd like you to meet waiting on Baromises. Who is that? An enemy. And an ally also. You will just have to wait and see for yourself. That Larsa likes his secrets. He does not mean ill by it. He's not bad. At least for an Imperial. Holy Mount Buromi Seis stands at the northern end of the Yagd Ramuda. Once we're in Yacht, we need not fear pursuit by their airships. Don't get your hopes up. You remember the Leviathan sailed straight over the Yacht Yenser, right up to Raithwell's tomb. Skystone that works even in Yacht. You know, Nethersite's behind it. Little wonder they're so keen on the stuff. And what is it you're after, Balthier? You're a welcome hand and a great aid, but why? Worried I'm out to steal the Nethersite, eh? Can't say I'm unaccustomed to people doubting my intentions. Nothing could be further from my mind. Shall I swear by your sword or some such? Apologies. But I needed to know where you stand. Her Majesty depends on you, and you seem to have an interest in the stone. I'm only here to see how the story unfolds. Any self-respecting leading man will do the same. All right, we have another guest, and it's Larsa. Good stuff. So you will leave. I think this is a token of our party. If you would ride a chocobo, you may. I've spoken with the Moodle. She will not charge you for your first use of the chocobos. Take care on the road ahead. Should it lead back to our land, you are welcome to gather spirits and land watch over you.
What's that? You're not riding, riding the chocobo? Not to worry, just be mindful that the limited time for your ride, Kubo. Off you go now. Right, no, quite a treat. Watching the whole fly by from your perch in the sound, Kubo. This one was a success. Wow, I'm impressed, Bon. I got a good feeling. An alliance between way. Dalmasca and the Empire. Reason tells me tis the only course. We must avoid a wasting war with the Empire at all cost. Yet I fear I could not bear the shame. Had I but the strength. A shame, perhaps, for me and for you. But for Dalmasca, tis hope. And you can just accept this, can you? After Vane's ruse, I had abandoned hope for honor. Yet, never did I forget my nightly vows. If I could protect but one person from war's horror, then I would bear any shame. I would bear it proudly. I could not defend my home. What is shame to me? My people hate the Empire. They will not accept this. There is hope. Right? Don't encourage Hope for a future where we can Not join hands uh, as brothers. <laughs> Larsa, please. This is serious. Oh, oh I'm, I'm sorry. Don't be Larsa. Somebody's got to put him in his place. Mm. Very nice. The Senate may play at intrigue, but Lord Vane is not one to be brought down easily. The entire military waits upon his orders, from the War Council down to the rank and file. What better blade than he to strike down the enemies of the Empire? Your Honor reminds me of Zet two years since. He, too, put his trust in Lord Vane's strength, and what became of him? Gone without a trace since Nabodis. I will not hear you malign Judge Zet. He was a noble warrior. Or do you think his trust in Lord Vane ill-placed? Vane took two of his own brother's lives. He is ruthless beyond contempt. Ruthless, you say? Would he were more so? He gives traitors no quarter, be they of his own blood. How fitting for one who would bear the burden of empire. But could we bear him? 
Zagabath, what of you? Surely you do not believe his brothers were traitors? So found his excellency, Lord Gramis. You would do well to mind your tongue, Drace. That matter is long past. Your honors, a summons. Lord Vane has arrived at the palace. We come at once. Lord Larsa has left for Boromises. He hopes to enlist the aid of the Grand Kiltius in stopping the insurgents. I doubt this will be enough to deter Ondor, but even a slight hindrance to his operations would be welcome. This will delay the Rosarian invasion, and we will have bought much needed time to shore up our defenses. Just as His Excellency had hoped. No matter the result, I'm pleased with the young Lord's progress. I can already see the stunned faces of those mud-witted senators. The fools think a child emperor strings easy to pull from the shadows. But they will find that Lord Larsa is no puppet. Yes, the senators would be most pleased with a puppet for an emperor. Recall, Drace, how the Senate fears and despises Lord Vane's ability? When they realize the truth, that Lord Larsa is no docile lamb to be shepherded, they will bare their teeth and devour him. You are right. I shall speak on this matter with His Excellency at once. Gabranth, it falls to us to protect Lord Larsa. Are we agreed? Aye. Got Chocobo. Random dude. Oh, I missed that. Spawn the Pegora. Unfortunate. What is it? The jungle denies us our passage. What have we done? We? No. I. What's that mean? How are we supposed to get through that? Making an appearance. Come I on, am. I'm talking over here. I thought you'd left for good. Hey! Our choices are few. Friend? Both here! This is as much for you as it is me. Oh? You are ill at ease. The Nethersite troubles you. You've let your eyes betray your heart. Right. What are you doing? Soon you will learn. Whoa. We go to seek aid of the Viera who dwell ahead. I bet they'll be glad to see you after so long. I am unwelcome, an unsought guest in their wood.
In the village ahead, you will find her, Yern. Bring her to me. She will know why you call her. There's a safe stone here. Probably a good place to call it for the stream. Made some pretty good progress. Enjoy my boy crack attack playing some ninja guy down three. And uh so tomorrow is provided it's going to happen or not, I don't know. We'll be random night on RGL TV. I'll be doing that. I think we were, I think we were talking about doing contra random. It'd be pretty fun. Um So you guys can check that out. And then Tuesday night we'll be back here. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do raids or if I'm going to do something. Depends. Like doing. If I don't do raids Tuesday night, it'll be Wednesday night. So thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you later.